This is a demo of ChirpJ, a new tool that compiles Java bytecode to JavaScript, allowing us to convert any Java desktop application, applet, or library to run in the browser. And I'm going to start with a few slides. And the slides themselves are actually a demo of ChirpJ, in that this was originally a Java desktop application to show a presentation. And we simply compiled it to JavaScript, so I'm going to run the version from the browser instead. And so, ChirpJ is actually the fulfillment of a 20-year-old promise. Web 2.0 was supposed to be Java running in the browser. But there were problems with the Java plugin strategy as far as we didn't know if the plugin was installed in the browser, we didn't know what version it was, uh, different plugins came from different platform vendors and ran different UI code, there were security issues, and eventually the browser vendors all went to war against plugins. So ChirpJ is actually the real Java runtime running natively in the browser. And we did this by starting with the Chirp C to JavaScript compiler, which we used to compile the OpenJDK native platform interface code. And then we used ChirpJ, Java to JavaScript compiler, to compile the actual OpenJDK runtime classes. And so the result is a real port of Java running natively in the browser just as valid as the Java for Mac ports or Windows or Linux. And so this fixes all the problems of the plugin. The Java runtime is always available. It's loaded on demand. The runtime is always up to date. Every time it's run, it checks for an update. It's always running the same UI code regardless of the platform, so we get the real right ones run anywhere. And it has all the security protections of the JavaScript sandbox. So for a larger proof of concept, I'm going to show this Java desktop application. So this is the Report Mill Report Designer. It's a standard page layout app. It's got 200,000 lines of Java UI code. It lets you add shapes and text and images, and I can drag and drop in a logo. It lets you set colors and gradients and textures and effects. And uh, because it's a reporting tool, I can connect to a data set here and add a 3D graph and position and rotate that. And so this is actually packaged as a single jar file. So we simply compiled that jar to JavaScript, copied it to the website, and now we have the exact same application running in the browser. And so I can run the app and I can draw my shapes and I can set the color. Uh, the performance is great. I can still drag and drop in the logo and position and size that. Uh, I can still connect to the data set and drag in a 3D graph and rotate that and position that. And so it's the exact same application with a single, single compile step running in the browser. So this really brings Java back to the browser. There's great performance, there's pixel-for-pixel pixel identical rendering, bug-for-bug bug compatible. It's a single-stack application running on the desktop and the browser, which reduces developer time and team size, cost, and complexity of a project. Uh, it's no longer necessary to have a hybrid application with half of it written in Java on the server and half written in JavaScript and HTML and CSS and Ajax on the client. And, uh, of course, Java development itself has many advantages. Uh, once you write a program that's got more than a thousand lines of code, uh, it's nice to have it in a type language that catches more errors at compile time. There's a quicker iterate, compile, and run cycle. And uh, Java has modern IDEs and IDE features like refactoring and symbol lookups and a much better debug environment. So in summary, uh, ChirpJ lets us run any Java app or library in the browser. And there's a simple one-step compile from Java bytecode to JavaScript to get it in the browser. Uh, the Java runtime classes are loaded on demand from our content distribution network. And ChirpJ is available from Leaning Technologies.